Well hello there and welcome back to my channel. Now today we're having a look at a little motor that you might want to use in a small sort of 3 inch toothpick twig style build from a new company that I've not really had any experience with in the past and that's a company called Flash Hobby. Now there's been some word that this might be the rebirth of DYS and DYS are a company that were around the last few years, I think they went bankrupt or went under but they made some budget motors, um, different sizes not quite sure if they made anything this small motor wise but they certainly made some budget motors that were quite popular because of their pre, um, their cheap price you've got a reasonable fight characteristics out of them so flash hobby from what we've seen perhaps are associated with that company i'm not 100 percent sure now this is the arthur series of motor um, and they've got motors in various sizes we said they've just appeared with loads of different design size motors i've not had any experience using any of their motors got these just to see what they're like. Um, not too expensive, quite a, a reasonable price, keenly priced, put them in the budget end of the market though. These aren't premium quality motors, but then for a little quad that you're just building, perhaps you might not necessarily want to spend a small fortune. But as I said, I had no experience with these motors, so if you have any experience with any of these motors, perhaps put a comment down in the comment section below so we can see what experience you personally had with these motors, whether they're really economical, that they fly nicely, good flight characteristics, how they handle for you, different sizes. But put that comment down below, it'd be brilliant if you could do that. Really help us all out. So this, as we've said, is a motor you might want to use on a twig or a toothpick size quad. The perfect size, as recommended by uh, Bob Rui um, Kebab FPV, which is a 1204 5200 kV. So saying 1204 is a good size, and around about the 5000 kV on a 3S is what he likes to put on his um, particular um, toothpick builds so if you want to copy him as he knows what he's talking about and uh, put something similar on our builds as well so here we have the little motor feels quite nice a bit notchy not too bad but not certainly not loose as you can see as it clicks around there you can feel the magnets so some people will quite like that others perhaps won't in the box you get obviously all the screws and stuff that you may need but to be honest I'd always have a little selection box of um, screws just in case these M2 screws just in case because you never know your arms might be particularly thick or particularly thin more than, than what they were thinking with the screws they supplied but they do give you screws and these might work for your arms so I'm not 100% sure exactly what thickness arm they're designed for but at least we've got those anyway I said get a selection box it will save you a lot of problems in the future so let's have a look at its weight so we'll put on our little scales so we get an idea of the weight the motor 7.22 grams and that's obviously includes uh, the full length of wire but no hardware so obviously you're cutting down the wire which will make it lighter but then we add the hardware on to screw um, motor down and obviously a prop and everything else so that will affect the uh, the weight of the motor but the motor on its own with full length of wire 7.22 grams so that's good the length of wire that we get with it just in case you want to run it all the way to your foil one ESC and that's coming in at about 11 and a half centimeters which is around about four and a half inches if you prefer metric or imperial so that's Pretty good that should be able to reach most four in one ESCs on certainly sort of three inch style um, toothpick builds. You shouldn't have a longer arm than that, though. You might want to cut these right down and, and put some race wire, makes changing the motors a lot easier, or a little bit of sort of LEDs or something like that to make your quad a bit more of an interesting build. So, there we are. First brief look at a new motor. We've got a little build that I want to put this on probably on the um, guitar pick frame from Bloods FPV and NJ Tech. Um, I think this will go quite nicely, but we'll see about that. Got lots to do. Got some interesting builds coming up. So thanks so much for watching this brief sort of little view and, and look at this uh, little motor. Hope this has been helpful, give you some information. And uh, thanks so much for watching. And perhaps I'll catch you video in the future. Take care and happy flying. Bye-bye.